What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're doing something that is really old school and I just wanted to test out exactly how good it was. Now this video was of course given out to all the uh, VIPs as an early access video. So if that is something that interests you, you can sign up to the VIPs down below. It's pretty much like a Patreon where you join a VIP Discord you get to see all of my videos before anyone else. So if that is of interest, link down below. Or else you could also just uh, grab the 0 to 10 million gold guide. Link is also down below. But in today's video, we're taking some old techniques into use. We are running around, or I have run around, with the Sap Trottle Moat Extractor. This is an engineering item that allows you to... Uh, Basically, just suck in clouds in Outland, and in return, you will get moats that you can make into primals. So, I wanted to see how efficient this was, and uh, just to see if there was any interest on um, checking out or making these videos in the first place, I decided to go for what I thought would be best, which is primal air, as it tends to have the highest price. But if you guys want me to test out all the other zones in Outland, but also in Northrend, then please let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, so this one right here, each zone has different clouds that you can, uh, that you can grab for different modes. And in Nagra and TBC, you have the windy clouds, which gets you primal air, as I told you. Now, when it comes to routes, I googled like a bunch of different images of cloud spawns. And the messed up thing is that, yeah, sometimes they're usually at the location or close by. But they can also be far from it. Like right now, I've done an hour of laps and there's one cloud up here that I haven't seen before at all. And it wasn't on the map that I looked at. But pretty much you just walk over to these maps right here. There's no sort of tracking. Like back in the old days, you needed to have goggles in order to track the clouds. That is no issue now. All you need to do now is have... Um, like you can either buy this one on the auction house, just level to 5 uh, Outland Engineering, and then you just buy this on the auction house. Or you can uh, craft it yourself. I would strongly suggest you to just straight up buy this if it's a fair price, because leveling up uh, and leveling up your uh, professions or like engineering is tough business because in order to level up this one you need items that requires you to be max like basic classic engineering so it's going to be pricey it is better to just get out engineering level it to five and straight up buy the sap remote extractor but yeah you use this one on the clouds once you've done that, you can see right here in uh, the chat that you get four moats of air. That is a set value. You get four moats on each cloud that you pick up. So now the question is like, how good is it? Is it worth doing? And I honestly think that especially like this is the first one that I've tried out. But primal air or moat of air in Nagran is actually worth doing if the price on your realm is... Uh, average or above average of course because in one hour i got 224 motes of air right i mean if that doesn't sound good to you like if i click on these bad boys right here i'm going to show you what the total values like average eu and on my realm and you can see why i think it's a good thing and oh and a cool thing about these they're usually up on these floating rocks as well it's kind of cool let me grab this one as well. But yeah, 22 primals in a one-hour session. Just uh, basically scouring the map for clouds. Uh, and uh, trying my best to just go through every corner of the map and find the clouds. Since they seem to be all over the place. Even though I did find a lot of the clouds being roughly in the same spot as before. But yes, 22 of these on my realm. You can see that I've sold them for an average price of 1.5k gold. So you know it's legit. Like if you haven't done these, primal air used to be like they're always really expensive because they're a pain in the ass to farm compared to some of the other primals. So uh, that's why they have a relatively good price. I've also sold them for 1.8k, which is the current price right now. And with that price, I made roughly 40,000 gold an hour on my realm from just sucking in the clouds that is pretty damn good 
Now, the region market value average would net me like 28.6k gold. And a lot of people would be hacked be making uh, an average of almost 27,000 gold an hour. So if I were you, I would just calculate in with the fact that you'll get, let's say, 20 prime layer on average. Go and check the price on your realm and uh, do the simple math, like 20 times whatever they're at on your auction house to see if it would be worth it for you. But for me, it's actually really cool. Like if I'm not streaming and doing prime layer farming in a five-man group, like, I'm definitely going to go out and suck in some clouds. And uh, I think it could be cool to also combine it with mining, even though adamantite is not usually worth that much. But having mining gives you the option to occasionally find corium veins. And then fell iron also tends to be decent. So uh, that could be cool. There's also some northern zones that would be better to combine mining with um, engineering. However, primals are better than the Eternals that you would get in Northrun. But as I said, though, if you guys are interested in me testing out each zone in TBC, uh, but also in Northrun, then just let me know uh, down below in the comment section. And that is pretty much it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to check out the VIP supporters and the 0 to 10 million gold guide. Super easy step-by-step -step gold guides to follow along if you want to make gold using all the techniques that I use. But that's it for now. See you all tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.